Hey, on this video, we are going over question eight from the study guide, and you are going to have one just like this on your unit test. It's the same directions, just a different graph. All right, so make sure you're able to do this. So we have a distance time graph that's also called a position time graph, and we want to label first if it's going forwards, backwards, or not moving, and then separately, we want to label if it's speeding up, slowing down, constant velocity, or again, not moving. All right, you only have the right not moving one time. You don't need to label it twice. All right, so with a position time graph or a distance time graph to determine if it's going forwards or backwards, we want to look at whether the line's headed up on the graph or down on the graph. All right, so up is forwards, down is um, backwards. All right, so let's label that first for each section. So I'm going to label these section A. B, C, D, and E, okay? So each column is its own section. Oops. All right, so for section A, our line is headed up on the graph. So I just told you if it's headed up, that is the positive direction. If you have a horizontal line on a position graph or distance time graph, that means it's not moving. So I'm gonna abbreviate that in M for not moving, All right? For C, our line is headed down on the graph, okay? It's looping negatively, so it's moving in the negative or backwards direction. For D, this is a curved line, but it is also headed down on the graph. So that would be the negative direction as well. And then for E, even though this is underneath our x-axis here, it is still going in the negative, or sorry, the positive direction because it is headed up on the graph. So this would be positive direction. Don't let the fact that it's underneath your x-axis fool you. On a position graph, it doesn't matter if it's above or below the x-axis. It just matters if the line's headed up or down, all right? All right, next up for B, it asks us if it's speeding up, slowing down, constant of velocity, or not moving. So let's go through each section. So for A, it's a diagonal line. A diagonal line on a position graph means constant velocity. All right. For B, we already said it was not moving, so we don't need to label anything else there. For C, we have another diagonal. This time the diagonal is just going in the negative direction, but it is still at a constant velocity. For D, we now have a curve. A curve means we either are speeding up or slowing down. In this case, our curve is steeper in the beginning and flatter at the end. So that means if it's flatter at the end, we are slowing down. Right? For E, it's flatter in the beginning and steeper at the end, so we're speeding up. Right? So that's what you're looking for with those curves. Is it flatter or steeper at the end? If it's flatter, it's slowing down. It's getting flat and slow. If it's getting steeper, it's speeding up. Okay, but that is it for question eight. If you still have any questions, please let me know.